Okay, so today we will talk about uh, concept of ratio. As we learned about uh, last week, right? We learned about uh, what is ratio, then uh, how to reduce the ratio. So today we are going to learn about concept of ratio. So we have four concept: constant part, constant total, constant difference, and everything change. So, uh, why is so important to learn about concept of ratio? Because, uh, if you are able to identify which uh, which concept to use, uh, you can easily solve your question. Okay. So I repeat again, if you are able to identify which concept to use for the particular question, you uh, can solve your question easily, okay? And next. So we will go through constant part first. So constant part which means uh, one of the part change while others, others remain the same. So what it means, you can look at the example. Chocolate to butter ratio was 4 to 5. After increase the amount of chocolate by 30 grams, chocolate to butter ratio changed to 2 to 1. How much chocolate do we need initially for each recipe? So from this question, right, you will realize that uh, the amount of chocolate change, but the amount of butter uh, remain the same. So we can use constant part. So one of the part uh, remain the same, okay? And then, so how do we proceed? Before we know, we know that um, constant uh, chocolate and butter is 4 to 5, okay? And chocolate to butter after is 2 to 1. So we know that butter is the, uh, remain the same. So butter is 5. And this one is 2 to 1. So we make it to 10 to 5 with times 5. Everything times 5. So become 10 to 5. So now we know that butter and the amount of butter before and after the same. So what it change is the amount of chocolate. So we take 10 unit minus 4 unit of chocolate equal to 6 unit. And this 6 unit, the difference is 30 gram. So equal to 30 gram. And 1 unit equal to 5. So how much chocolate do we need initially for this recipe is uh, Initially it's 4 to 5, but so 1 unit is 5, so I take 5 times 4 equal to 20 grams. So initially we need 20 grams, so this is constant part, okay? So next. So constant total. Total will mean the same, usually is related to internal transfer. What you mean by internal transfer, right? It's like, uh, we, uh, the number there's one system, A to B. If A and B, the total will be the same, right? Always the same. No matter uh, A to B or B to A, okay? And no matter what is the amount also. Like, uh, if I took uh, you, and you, and, you and your friend, right? Uh, both of you have, the same, have, the, have a certain amount of money. And if you give your friend certain amount of money, and you total up everything, you still the same, right? No matter how much you give, okay? How much you exchange also, is the total will still the same, okay? So, for this question, you will see example. Uh, chocolate to butter ratio was 4 to 5. After increase the amount of chocolate by 30 grams and reduce the amount of butter by 30 grams, chocolate to butter ratio changed to 2 to 1. Okay, so how much chocolate do we need initially for this recipe? So you will notice that uh, the amount of chocolate increased by 30 grams and the amount of butter reduced by 30 grams. So the increment the, and the reduction is the same. Okay, 30 grams only. So we, we can use constant total because you take away and you give in the same thing, 30 gram, 30 gram, okay? So before, right, uh, chocolate to butter to total ratio is 4 to 5 to 9, okay? And then after it's 2 to 1 to 3, okay? And you make it total the same one. So the, you make the number of total is the same. So times 3, 6, 3, 9. So now the total is the same. And the difference between butter and before and after is 5 and 3, or 6 to 4 for the chocolate. So 6 unit minus 4 unit is is equal to the 30 gram which is a different so 2 unit equal to 30 and 1 unit equal to 15 how much chocolate do we need initially? you got 4 right? 4 times 15 is 60 gram okay so this is constant total so constant different different remain the same usually is related to age uh, because usually the question asked right uh, if the question related to age is always constant different okay we are just uh, I'm just making an assumption here and if you see any question Related to age, you can, uh, it most probably is a constant difference, okay? Because, example, you have your, you and your brother, uh, uh, it's always three years gap, right? No matter, it, um, it's always three years gap, no matter when it is, okay? Maybe after three years, after three years, it's always three years gap, right? Correct? So the age of Marcus and John are in the ratio of five to eleven. In three years time, their age will be in the ratio of four, uh, of one to four. How old is Marcus now? So before. Marcus and John and different is 5 to 10. 10 minus 5 is 6. So different between four of them is 6. And after is 1 to 4 to 3. So 4 minus 1 is 2 in 3. 
so if we say that total different the different between the h gate right is always the same okay so it's six so we make it the difference the same so times two then everything become two to eight to six okay so the difference between 11 unit minus 8 unit equal to 3 unit okay and 3 unit is equal to the 3 years time okay after before and after one so 3 years time and 1 unit equal to 1 okay and then okay so how old is Marcus now so initially we have 5 equal to 11 hence Marcus age is 5 times 1 equal to 5 years old after 3 years old he is 8 years old right okay. so everything changed so for this one it's quite complicated you need to pay attention to this every part the difference and the total change okay which means nothing is remain the same everything change okay chocolate to butter ratio was 4 to 5 every after increase the amount of chocolate by 30 gram and reduce the amount of butter by 50 gram chocolate to butter ratio changed to 2 to 1 how much chocolate do we need initially for this recipe so i make this table here before is 4 unit and 5 unit okay but uh, chocolate to butter okay and then after that right, 4 unit plus 30 and 5 unit of butter minus 50 gram okay and ratio after is 2 to 1 become 2 to 1 and we know that this one right this after is always the same this is equal to this and this is equal to this correct so i write it out 4 unit plus 30 to 5 unit minus 50 and 2 to 1 this 2 is always the same okay this 2 is always the same and we do a cross multiply here okay do a cross multiply here we found we take we got 4 unit plus 30 equal to 10 unit minus 100 so 5 unit minus 50 you times 2 okay everything you times 2 okay so we come like this and you see here 4 unit 30 100 okay 10 unit minus 100 right minus away the 100 this one is 100 minus the 100 is equal to this okay so 10 unit 4 unit 10 unit is you minus the 4 unit and this this over here is is 10 unit okay it's 6 unit sorry it's 6 unit okay so 6 unit equal to 100 plus 30 okay 100 plus 30 so 6 unit equal to 130 1 unit is 216 21.67 and initially we got 4 right 4 equal to 4 times 21.67 so it's uh, 86.68 gram okay so initially we need uh, 86.68 gram okay chocolate and this rating change okay so do take note on this okay and yes so you try this and then I will talk about question 3 okay so Ali and Marcus have some money in a ratio of 3 to 1 after Ali give Marcus uh, $70 the ratio become 2 to 3 how much money does Ali have now so you will notice this a constant total uh, what I explained just now is exactly the same thing over here Ali and Marcus have some money and the total of, of their money is always the same no matter what okay if Ali give Marcus $70 or Ali give Marcus $30 or Marcus give back Ali uh, $30 is that total is always the same okay it never take out to it never give somebody else they never give out somebody else okay so uh, we can use constant total here so before is uh, Ali to Marcus to total is 3 to 1 to 5 to, to 4 sorry so after is uh, 2 to 3 to 5 so the total we want to make it the same and we just multiply this and multiply by 5 and this multiply by 4 so now the total will be the same okay they have a they have a same total now and what's the difference is if you can take either uh, you can take either Marcus or Ali okay so Marcus so in this case I take Ali Ali got 15 before and after is 8 so 18 minus uh, 15 minus 18 minus 8 is 7 unit you say you need to seventy dollar which is what Ali gave Marcus seventy dollar okay so one unit go ten dollar and how much money does Ali have now? Ali has now is 8 units. 8 units times 10 is 80 units. Okay. You don't use this one. Uh, so use the, you use this one. Use the one that have you have calculated the same total. Okay. So 8 times 10 is 80. Hence 80 dollars. Okay. You really uh, students will care us over here. They they took these two instead of 8. Okay. So you remember. This is a new ratio you count. Okay. You show you this one. You always refer to this one. Okay. The new one. Okay. So yeah. So this this all for uh rate the four concept of uh the four concept of ratio. So it is all about ratio, four concept of ratio, uh, constant total, constant part, constant difference and everything change. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's recording. Okay. So today right we will touch about uh rate, average, 
and speed okay rate average and speed i will try to finish until speed okay so because uh it's quite basic and yeah you can see it's quite easy also it's not uh uh it's not the same as a uh, percentage or ratio okay so yeah right now we just start okay so rate right is a comparison of two number or measurement okay is a comparison of two number or measurement so example 0 0.04 cent per hour okay this you will see you will see this right you will see this as a uh, parking okay as a parking car park okay at car park area or, or, or below below your house or hdb anywhere okay when you enter a mall and you want to park your car in a mall right, they will show something like this uh the rate is uh 0 0.04 per hour okay it, it will not be this uh this this cheap but it's very cheap for this okay okay and okay this one right 100 km per hour you will see so we will take note that two number of me or measurement this cam is measurement and this hour is also measurement so cam right you know that cam is the measurement of length hour is a measurement of time dollar is a measurement of money okay so 100 km per hour 100 km per hour you will see this at your uh, a car okay in a car it is a speed of a car okay and this one 100 ml per three hour is also two number okay two measurement okay 100 ml per three hour ml is the volume okay so this might be something like the uh, water coming up of or uh, water coming up from a pipe okay they are asking they are saying uh this water may be coming up at uh, 100 ml for every three hour okay okay so this is 100 gram per six hour okay 100 gram per six hour okay and this is rate okay this is something rate okay and next so from this picture how much should you pay if you park your car at there from 1 p.m to 5 p.m so you will see so you see this car so this one i take from a certain area hdb i don't know where i take i took already i forgot already so coupon parking whole day okay so this one right 60 cent per half hour okay we mean every half hour you need to pay 60 cent or five dollar per night this one is motors this one is uh, uh this one is car okay this one is motorbike okay from 10 30 p.m to 7 a.m this one is per night okay other than this timing right which mean from uh 6.01 6 during 6 i uh, should know 701 a.m until 10 29 p.m you need to pay this rate okay other than this you need to pay five dollar per night okay so from here right you know that 1 p.m to 5 p.m is out of out of this range okay out of this range is is this one okay so 5 p.m to 1 a.m is one is four hour and we know that uh 60 cent is per half hour okay 60 cent per half hour so half hour is 60 cent so one hour equal to how much and four hour how much do i need to pay so 0 0.6 0 0.6 0 0.6 dollar times two is 1.2 so you know that one hour is actually equal to 1.2 dollar okay 1.2 dollar and four hour equal to 4.8 dollar so this is the amount of money that you need to pay if you park your car at there from 1 to 5 p.m okay another question what if i park my bike okay i, I park my bike which is this one the motorcycle the, the bike one from 11 p.m to 10 a.m and you know that uh you know that 6 uh, 7 a.m to 10 30 p.m is uh 65 cent per day uh, per day okay per day if you overnight right 10 30 to 7 uh, overnight right is 65 cent per night okay per night okay okay so now it doesn't make any difference because it's the same uh it's the same amount of money per night and per day so 11 p.m to 7 a.m 11 p.m you need to go until 7 a.m okay 11 p.m you need to go until 7 a.m and then yeah 11 p.m you need to go until 7 a.m and this one is charged per night okay per night and this 7 a.m to 10 a.m is just per day okay just per day okay so you need to make the calculation very clear here and the amount of money you need to pay is just one dollar and thirty cents okay okay if you park from 11 p.m to 10 a.m 
if they make any different from the time or if they make any different at the uh, amount of money that you need to pay per night or per day right so you need to list it out and you make sure that the uh the time that you cover right is is correct okay the time that you cover is correct okay and yeah okay so now is uh this one is average so average is defined as is a sum of uh, group of value divided by the number of value in the group so uh, do take note that it's a sum of a group of value and divided by the number of value in the group so you can see this example uh, what is the average mark based on the table so on the table we got five subject and then five um, five value you can see that okay so total do, there are total five subject total mark is you just sum it up all up and 408 average mark you take sum of a group of value this is a group of value and the sum is 408 so number of value we got how many value here five right so 508 divided by 5 so average you got this okay 81.6 percent okay so this is average okay it look very easy but sometimes the question just yeah it's just very confused of what the question mark so special case addition number of value so when there are additional number of value the average will be affected and changed okay when there are additional number of value either take away one number of value or take away two number or add one or add two okay the average will be affected okay uh, okay example the total mark right just now uh, the total mark maybe maybe uh, one of the mark suddenly there's a changes okay maybe uh, maybe sign there's a changes uh, to maybe to, to 90 so this average will change okay this average will change okay okay so for this example right the average mark in mathematics of 30 student was 85 after Ali was added into the class, the average mark now became uh, 84.5%. Hence, how much did Ali get for his mathematics? So initially, total student, total student was uh, 30. Okay, there are, there are 30 students, and the average mark of them is 85. Total mark how much? So we just take 30 times 85. Okay, 30 times 85. Okay, so we got this. Then after Ali added in, now the total student no longer 30. Uh, now it's 31 correct you need to add Ali in what correct so 31 the average mark is 84.5 and the total mark is 31 times 84.5 and how much did Ali get for his mathematics you just take these two total mark after and before you minus okay you take the before you take the after one you minus away the before okay so you take this minus away this and you get 69.5% uh, which is uh, Ali mark okay this is okay you can understand by okay you can understand this okay next this is the difference between before and after okay is the Ali mark Ali mark is equal to the difference between before and after okay and next the average mark in mathematics of 30 students was 85 percent after two students were added into the class the average mark changed the mark of these two students uh, were 85 and 75 respectively uh, what is the average mark now so we know that initially we we, uh, we knew this right for the previous question so now after two students added in the total student how much is 32 okay you need to add in the two students average mark we don't know this what we want to find out but can we know the total mark yes we can we take the initial total total mark you be add in 85 and 75 okay now we got a new total mark and we divide by 32 okay we divide by 32 and the total and the average mark change okay we, and the average mark change to 84 0.69 okay 84.69 so next we are going to talk about speed okay the rate of change of distance how fast is the car moving on the road how fast is he running this is the speed okay speed the rate of change of distance the rate okay rate rate is what rate is comparison between two number of measurement or measurement okay which is these two measurement and so these two measurement okay speed equal to distance divided by time okay and there's one formula I need to and I want to share with you all, which is the triangle triangle rule. Okay, speed. Okay, we use this triangle to for you uh to easy uh memorize this uh formula. Okay, so distance, speed, time. Distance at top, speed at the uh, bottom left, and time at the bottom right. Okay, and it's upside down. It's divide. Okay, there's one line. Okay, there's one line separate upside down, and there's one line separate side by side okay when they side by side is multiply what I say so uh, when I want to calculate distance you cover out you cover out distance okay cover out distance you will left uh, speed and time and speed and time is side by side so we times okay 
for time, we want, we want to count, when we want to measure time, right? We want to find it, what is time. So, you take what is left is distance and speed, and it's up, sign down. And distance is up, speed at the bottom. So, distance divided by speed, okay? When you want to calculate speed, right? You cover out speed, what you left? Distance and time. Distance and top, type at bottom. So, you divide, distance divided by time. Okay, this, you need to maybe, uh, uh, write down somewhere else okay you need to know exactly what is this okay and how to use this okay and next average speed why same as what we learned in average average is equal to average speed is equal to total distance travel divided by the total time taken to complete the whole distance okay imagine there's someone else maybe you you walk from a to b to c a b c from three point okay a to b and then to c so this is the total distance you travel and the total time taken from A to B to C, you need to sum it up, okay? Okay, you need to sum it up, and then your total distance travel divided by the total time taken to complete the whole distance. I will, we will look through at the example, okay? So example for this, a car goes from A to B at 40 minutes, then the car continues the whole journey, then the journey from B to C at 30 minutes, and we know that A to B is 30 meter and B to C is 10 meter. What is the average speed? So the total distance is 40 meter, correct? And total time is 40 plus 30, so the total time is 70 minutes. So we take the average speed, we have the current speed, which is distance divided by time. Distance 40 divided by 70 minutes, so it equal to 0 0.57 minutes per uh, meter per minute, okay? 0 0.57 meter per minute, okay? Next. A car goes from point A to point B at 40 minutes. Then the car continues the journey from B to C. The average speed of car is 0 0.6 minute, uh, meter per minute. What is the time taken for the car to go from P from B to C? So what you have is um you want to calculate time, right? You need to cover time. What you left? Distance and speed. Distance divided by speed. Okay. So total distance we know that is 40 meters. Okay, 30 plus 10 is 30 meters. Uh, 40 meters. Average speed 0 0.6. Total time, we don't know. This is what we want to find out, correct? So total time is 40 my uh divided by uh 0 0.6. So equal to 66.67 minutes okay so b to c we know that total time is uh we got the total time we got a to b so we minus okay minus where 40 we got 26.67 minutes okay so this is the answer and then yeah this is average speed and speed okay so today we cover a bit uh ratio concept of ratio and uh rate average and speed okay this is what we cover today